Well, Shep, China's foreign ministry is refusing to describe Russia's attack on Ukraine as an invasion. Instead, uh, the ministry has been accusing the U.S. of increasing tensions with Russia and hyping up the possibility of war in Eastern Europe. At a regular press briefing today, a foreign ministry spokesperson said, those who have set the fire should consider how to put it out with concrete actions rather than condemning others. She added that the parties directly concerned should exercise restraint and prevent the situation situation from getting out of control. Uh, by rejecting the term invasion, China is attempting to appear as though it's abiding by what it says is a core foreign pol policy principle, non-interference in other states' sovereignty, while still offering Russia support. Now, this comes as Chinese aircraft entered Taiwan's air defense zone on the same day that Russia attacked Ukraine. Today, Taiwan's defense ministry reported that nine J-16 jets and one Y-8 reconnaissance plane flew over a Taiwan-controlled island. In response, Taiwan fighters were deployed to warn away the Chinese jets. China's foreign ministry dismissed concerns about tensions from the British prime minister. This week, Johnson said that there would be consequences for places like Taiwan if the West failed to support Ukraine's independence. China's foreign ministry responded, Taiwan is not Ukraine. Taiwan has always been an inalienable part of China. This is an indisputable legal and historical fact. Shep? Eunice Yoon, live for us in Beijing.